Hello students, today I am going to explain chapter 3, practice zone 1 question answers. Your first question is, who was Idias? Why was he angry? In this picture you can see, this one is Idias, Hermia's father. So you can say Idias was Hermia's father who was also a nobleman in Thesis court. Now answering the second question, why was he angry? He was angry at Hermia's behavior because she was in love with Lysander. This is Hermia, she is Lysander, they both love each other. What made him angry was because Aegeus wanted Hermia to marry Demetrius. This one is Demetrius. So therefore, he was angry. Second question. What did Aegeus request Thesis, the Duke of Athens, to do? Aegeus requests something to Thesis, who is the Duke of Athens, where Aegeus is already a nobleman. So the answer is, Aegeus requested Thesis to enforce his daughter Hermia to marry Demetrius. He also asked him to give her a death sentence if she did not marry Demetrius. This is what Aegeus told or requested to Thesis, who was the Duke of Athens. Third question, what did Hermia and Lysander plan to do? So what do they plan? Hermia and Lysander, they plan something according to the story. And the answer is, Lysander asked Hermia to run away with him to his aunt's place that was 20 miles away from Athens. So Lysander, he asked Hermia to run away with him. Where? To his aunt's place that was 20 miles away from Athens. Lysander said that they would get married there. They, he promises that they would surely get married there. Fourth question. What does the author tell us about the relationship of the four lovers when the story begins? The author discloses that the relationship between the four lovers, that is Demetrius, Helena, Hermia and Lysander is very confusing. Hermia and Lysander love each other. Helena loves Demetrius. But Demetrius who was engaged to Helena earlier now loves Hermia. So these are the characters of the story who will keep on confusing you but at the end of the story you may laugh like anything so this is really a lovely story i have explained one to fourth question answers for next two i will just try to tell you those answers too now you can see here Next is, why are the fairy king and queen quarreling? Now, in the story, you might have seen that fairy king and queen, they quarrel. So, here you get king and queen. I can show you. Oberon and Titania. Titania, so you can see here a picture of Titania. So both of them are quarreling. Why are they quarreling? Let us see. The fairy king and queen were having a fight over an Indian prince. Both of them were having a fight over an Indian prince. So they are trying to fight over an Indian prince. 
who in reality was a human boy so they why were they fighting what was the purpose because that indian prince was actually a human so that's why they are fighting the fairy king wanted the boy to be his knight whereas the fairy king refused to be parted away from him oberon wanted that he should be his knight but fairy queen she did not want to part he she did not want to go away from him that's why both of them were quarreling now last question i'll show you through the picture only what actually it is like who was robin good fellow actually he is the one who creates mess and creates confusion among everybody so here you come you can see the picture here robin good fellow commonly known as puck his name is puck was a clever and playful spirit who was also very mischievous puck you can see here he is also very mischievous his jokes and tricks kept the fairy queen oberon uh, oberon occupied so he worked for both of them so all the time whatever work he did he kept doing mischievously and thus he creates confusion in the story i hope you understand